you. This will be a quick review for pre-cal. This is quiz 44. Uh, you have two questions on this quiz. Both of them are going to be polar coordinate graphing. So I want to go over those and show you how to do that. First thing you're going to get, you got to print this out or download it um, to be able to do it. So you'll have a graph, a grid. Obviously, yours will be more detailed than mine. And then you should have a big chart as well. Uh, and that big chart there would have your degrees out zero down to 360. Uh, set those up, okay? Uh, how do you like my big whiteboard, by the way? Got some bigger space to show you guys this stuff. Hopefully that helps you see. All right, so I've got a generic equation, rho equals three cosine of theta, all right? The easiest thing to do with these is just go ahead and plug them into your calculator and you're gonna be able to start finding different numbers. Now plug all of these angles in. So you wanna go cosine of zero degrees and then multiply by three. You're just gonna work right through each of those, all right? So I'll start giving you some of those and putting those in. We'll get some numbers that we're gonna put onto our graph. Okay, so as you begin with your calculator, you wanna make sure that you're in radian uh, degree mode. So I've checked that here and I'm gonna go and just put in three cosine zero and I get a three. We know the cosine is one, so I get a three. So I'm gonna put a three right here, all right? And then I'm gonna continue through the equation, three cosine, I'm gonna put in 30, and I get 2.59. I'm gonna round to the tenths place, 2.6, okay? And then I'll keep going uh, down the line. Three cosine 60, 1.5, three cosine 90, I get a zero, three cosine 120, negative 1.5. Okay, now, all of these are degrees. These are all numbers that can get plotted. So that's my goal, all right? I'm gonna go over and just plot these first few. Of course, you fill out the rest of the list and then you plot your points. Let's do this first one. First thing I'm noticing, and you're gonna wanna check this when you take your quiz tomorrow, but you wanna look for your highs and your lows. Uh, I'm gonna say right here that just for now, my three is my largest. So I'm gonna say zero is here, and what I'm gonna do is put a, uh, let's see, I'll put a, a two at this spot, and then a four out here. So as I plot my first point, row is three, I go out three, it's zero, I'm gonna put a spot right there, zero degrees. 2.630 degrees, so I'm gonna go about two, here's three, so 2.6, and up about 30 degrees, and plot that point. Okay, 1.5 and 60, so 1.5 would be about here, 60 degrees right there. Uh, 120, or negative 1.5, so remember negative 1.5 goes this way, here would be about one, 1 1.5, and I'm supposed to rotate 120 degrees. Now watch that one, rotating 120, here's 90, so it's gonna be somewhere over here, okay? Now I can kind of see, if I'm gonna keep going, this is gonna make, um, can I just get this little shape to it? And then it's gonna come out here and do another one. And it comes and does another one there. Okay, so you have a couple of uh, pictures that you gotta draw, all right? That's your first equation. Let me show you what the second one looks like. Okay, let's talk about your second question on the quiz. Again, another polar graph. I have another equation for you here. The first one, we put a number out front, multiplied all of our answers, cosine of zero by three, that kind of thing. Here we're gonna put a, uh, a two in front of the degree. So it's gonna double all the degrees in our chart over here. So let's see what that does, all right? Uh, go to my calculator. Of course, I'm going to do sine of zero still. All right, and that's going to give me zero. So I've got the pole. Uh, let's continue. Now, don't put in a 30. Put in a sine of 60. So we'll go sine of 60 degrees, and I've got, uh, it says 0 0.866. I'm going to go tenths place, 0 0.9. And then we'll go sine, not of 60, uh, for this one here. We're going to go up 120. And I've got, again, the same number, 0 0.9. And then I'll do 90 to 180 here, so sine of 180 equals zero. What I've noticed is I'm already back, okay? So these are gonna start to repeat. I can go ahead and plot these, and zero, zero, that's my pole. I'm noticing I'm not going above one, so I'm gonna make one my outer second ring and 0.5 my one there in the middle, and then I'll plot these points. So 0.9 would be right about here and up 30 degrees. Uh, let's see, we'll put that right about here. And then we're gonna go 60 degrees of rotation and 0.9 be somewhere over there, okay? Remember that when you plot the points, use the actual degrees from the chart. Now, looking at that, and of course, zero, 90, uh, if I go zero in the row, it's still the, the, the pole, so I'm kind of stuck. I can't really see the shape very well with only three points. This is gonna happen on your second graph on your quiz, so go ahead and add some points. What I'm gonna do is the degrees in between the ones I already have. So I'm doing 15 because it's between 
30 and zero. 45 is between 30 and 60. I'll do 75 and I'm gonna do 105. And of course you would continue and do all the way down so that you can finish out the chart putting all the degrees in between. It'll give you lots of accuracy. Uh, we'll put this in the calculator. Now again, don't put in sine of 15, put in sine of 30 because we're doubling our angles. So I'm gonna get a 0 0.5. That gives me more information. Don't put in sine of 45, put in sine of 90. Double it and I get a one. Uh, I'm gonna put in sine of 150. I think you're probably getting the idea. 0 0.5 and 105, sine of 210, and I get negative 0 0.5. Now I wanna plot those. So I'm gonna start with the first one. 0.5 is right there, 15 degrees is approximately there, okay? Uh, now I want 45 degrees at one. So it's all the way out here to one, and 45 is gonna be right in the middle, plot that point. Uh, 0.5 and 75 degrees of rotation, okay? So here's my 0.5, uh, from before, same location, 75 degrees has just passed, so it's going to be out here a little bit, okay? And then I want negative 0.5, so that comes out this way, and uh, uh, 200, oh, sorry, 105 degrees, don't rotate 210, rotate what these things say here, so we rotated the 75, we got that one, rotate the 105, so I'd be about 90 right here, and I need to do another 15 degrees, so somewhere over here. What I can see is this point is actually part of the next leaf, but I have enough information to draw in approximately what that leaf would be. You can see there's another one that's gonna develop over there when you finish this chart and when you finish this chart, okay? So hopefully you can kind of see, get a little bit of an idea of what this will look like when you have to add more points. So two equations tomorrow uh, for your quiz. Make sure that you uh, just follow the way. If, if it's uh, the number is in front, cosine of the angle, then multiply by the number. If the number is in front of the angle, make sure you multiply the number first, and then take the trig function. I think you'll do well. Please let me know. Reach out, uh, text, or a call if you have any questions on tomorrow's quiz. All right, we'll talk to you later.